Hi, this is Kenny Xue speaking. I'm from Department of Energy Engineering, National United University. In this section, we're going to talk about the uh, uh, cell voltage current versus current curve. And that's going to also explain the sound of the terminology in a fuel cell. The first cell voltage current curve or we call the EI curve, is one of the important curve uh, for the fuel cell performance. When we, we consider fuel cell as good or bad, basically it's from the EI curve to look at. Because uh, this one tell you at a given current density or given output current, how much the cell voltage it can come out from the fuel cell. And uh, this uh, basically can be uh, applied for many other kind of battery during the discharge, such as a leasing battery or lead acid battery or nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride battery. Um, before we talk about the cell voltage and the current curve, uh, we look at the what does it mean of the electrical potential? This table lists uh, the electrical potential of different electrochemical reaction. They list from the more ne most negative all the way to the positive uh, potential, different kind of electrical potential, electrochemical reaction. Um, the the over here the most uh, positive based on the thermodynamic definition. Um, most positive reaction uh, potential mean is it will be occurred uh, naturally, spontaneous reaction. And uh, most negative uh, potential, that means it's not going to likely to happen. But the reverse, reverse reaction will be most likely. Because, uh, uh, for instance, the lesion here, if you reverse reaction, it, the, the voltage sign change from the minus 3 volt become positive 3 volt. So the most positive uh, potential means more likely to be happen. For instance, the leasing ion um, over here, the, the reduction of the leasing ion uh, become the leasing metal. The electrical potential is negative, minus 3.0 3 volt. This means this reaction is mostly unlikely to be happen. But the reverse reaction, when you wrote the oxidation, the leasing oxidize into leasing ion, then the potential becomes positive 3 volt. It's very likely to be happen. If you consider so the electrical potential, this is 10, the leasing ion uh, is 10 to lose electron. Because uh, you can see if uh, the reaction goes this direction, then the voltage become positive 3 over here. The leasing likely to lose the electron become leasing ion. This can be looked at uh, see from the electric electron configuration. For the leasing ion, the atomic uh, number is 3. There are 3 positive protons and 3 electrons uh, surround the orbit. In the 1s orbit, there's a 2 electron, and a 2s orbit, there's a, a extra electron over here. So the, the, the outermost orbit electron likely to be lost over here. So it's easy to lose the electron. It tendency to be oxidized rather than be reduced. On the other hand, um, over here, the electron potential, the kind of set like um, the hydrogen, this uh, set as a st as a zero over here, and the rest uh, compared to uh, the electrical potential here. It, it's the arbitrary set, the hydrogen reduction here as a zero over here, and the rest uh, compared to this electrical potential. So the other, the more positive, that means more easy to be reduced uh, reduced in that case like a tin or the, the oxygen reduction. This uh, in the alkaline solution, the oxygen reduction reaction, 
the oxygen was reduced into hydroxide ion and uh, in the alkaline median. But the acidic median is become like this, and the electrical potential is changed from 0.4 to 1.2, 1.3 volt here. So the electrical potential actually um, is a kind of like a, a tendency of gain electron or lose electron. More negative, it tend to lose electron, easy to oxidize. And the more positive, that means it tend to gain electron. It's more easy to reduce. And uh, for comparison, all the reaction doesn't matter. It will be uh, occurred naturally, taking place naturally, or uh, it's all written in a reduction form. So it will be compared at an equal base and uh, set the hydrogen as a zero and other electron uh, set this as a zero and uh, compare to this direction how the relate the electric potential relate to this direction now let's see how, what the difference between cell voltage and electric potential the electric potential will be mentioned about the, for instance in a fuel cell this oxygen re reduction reaction taking place on the castle so this uh, they had their own castle potential uh, over here and the hydrogen is taking place on the anode so hydrogen is zero over here so this one zero and this one 1.23 over here so this is the potential the tendency this means this easy to ox uh, reduction and this one tend to be oxidized, oxidized over here and the difference between the uh, electrical potential of the castle and the electrical potential of the anode, then that's the cell voltage here. As long as if there's a current flow through here, because the conductivity here, they might have a potential difference over here because the internal resistance. And over here, because uh, they had interface, uh, the, they call the electric double layer. Over here, they may have certainly electrical potential jump over here. If you're interested, you can look at the electrochemical uh, books, the related uh, book, they can have more description about this. But anyway, this, the point here is uh, uh, electrical, poten uh, electrical potential is, a, you may think, is a tendency of lose electron or gain electron. And then the cell voltage is a difference of the electrical potential between the cathode and the anode. Now, next, let's consider what the anode cathode oxidation and the reduction. As a definition by the electrochemistry, uh, the anode is an electro which oxidation reaction taking place. That means the reaction and there will be uh, reducing species will be loose electron and become oxidizing uh, species. The Whatever the oxidation reaction taking place, we call the electrode is anode. Vice versa. Whatever the, the reaction taking place is reduction, then we call it is the castle here. So the castle will be accept the electron and the anode will be release electron. So electron will be uh, moved from the anode to the castle. This is electronic current flow from the anode to the castle. But the electric current is opposite. The electric current is opposite the electron current. It's from the castle to the anode. And by the definition, the positive electrode is the ele electric current in the move from the positive electrode to the negative electrode. So over here it will be the positive, and this will be the negative electrode here. Now next, we consider what is the OCV equivalent potential and over potential. What the relationship between the among those terms? Um, if the the cell is at the equilibrium, the castle is at the equilibrium state. There's no net current flow. If you consider a battery or fuel cell, you just use a multimeter to measure the voltage. Uh, there, there's no net current flow through. The, the cell. So both electrode is at the equilibrium 
potential and then the potential difference we call the this OCV we call the open circle voltage OCV is a, the electrical difference at the equilibrium stage when there's a current flow through when there's a current flow through the the cell then the cancel as long the potential will be dropped and the annual potential will be increased will be rise and this may be internal reduction may cause the potential uh, change among the electrolyte and then at the given current flow the potential difference between the cathode and no and this cell voltage this cell voltage is at a closed circle voltage because the circuit was closed and then there's a given amount of current electric current flows through the circle so this is cell voltage here and then the difference between the cathode potential and the cathode potential at the equilibrium we call the over potential so the over potential for the cathode there's a cathode over potential the 5c minus 5 5 oc here and the NO also there's a NO over potential here this one might be is negative and this might be positive here the over potential describe how much the electrical potential deviate from its equilibrium stage here so the Batavoma equation we wrote uh, a simplified uh, Batavoma equation we wrote as uh, the current density as a function of the over potential the electrical potential minus its uh, potential at the equilibrium stage now um, let's see that for the fuel cell the fuel cell the when it's at the open circle stage that's mean if we had a fuel cell here we put a voltmeter connected and there's a load maybe electronic load when this circuit is open then the voltage we measure is at the open circle voltage over here we use a uh, voltmeter to measure the volt and uh, we maybe had an ammeter to measure the current divide by the electrical area then we got a current density when the circuit was closed then we come we change the load we change the load and measure the voltage and then the current flows through the load um, we can plot this uh, curve cell voltage uh, current curve over here Now, what what the voltage and the electrical potential, the relationship between the voltage and the potential? We can see, um, we can plot uh, current density against the uh, uh, electrical potential over here. This is the cathode potential. If we have, I increase the current density, then the cathode potential will be decreased, and the annual potential will be increased. This is at the equilibrium potential, the at the annual, and this equilibrium potential in the castle. So when I increase the, the current density, the castle potential will drop and then annual potential will be rise. The difference between the castle potential and the annual potential will be the cell voltage here. Usually we plot uh, wait for a cell we end with like this so the difference the E and against the current density here we we end with this curve so but uh, um, usually we just uh, use a voltmeter measure the between the cathode and the pot potential difference we got a cell voltage at a different current density so at a higher current density the cell voltage will be dropped during the research, I still uh, had to remind you, you had to distinguish what the, the voltage drop over here. Originally, it's ideal case at a different current density should be remain the same. But in reality, the voltage drop. The voltage loss uh, maybe depends on, will be maybe due to the castle 
or anode, you, you have to notice and distinguish the difference between that. This can be done by insert the reference electrode between the cathode anode, and then you can measure the uh, cathode potential and the anode potential. Then you know what the major, uh, major voltage loss.